Hi, my name is Jason Lanier. I am here in Edinburgh, Scotland, one of the most beautiful cities in the entire world. And I am in one of the most haunted cemeteries in the world. I am at Greyfriars Kirk. Uh, and this is w w known the world over for hauntings and demons and ghost shows and everything else. And it's my, my third or fourth time being here, but I can never get enough of it. And I decided if I was gonna shoot here, I wanted to do something that would actually benefit you guys at home. So um, I am here today to do an ISO challenge. ISO is something that some photographers struggle with. Some photographers want to know what it is and really how it performs. And um, the bottom line is with ISO, the bigger the sensor, the, normally the better the ISO sensitivity of the camera. What I'm going to do today is compare three full frame sensors, all made by Sony, all with the A7 line. I'm going to compare the A7S, the A7R, and the A7 II. Now many of you might already know the A7S is by far the low light champion of the world for all camera manufacturers. But I get this question a lot, just how good is the A7S, or how good is the A7R, how good is the A7 II, and I'm going to show you guys right now. It's very, very inhospitable conditions, so it makes sense that we're in a cemetery. It's raining, it's very cold, it's in the 30s and 40s right now. If some of the shots turn out and they have a water spot on the lens, uh, I apologize in advance, but we're going to try to get through this before we freeze and get back to the hotel. But here's what I'm doing. I have those three bodies that I just mentioned. I'm going to be using the same exact uh, settings. So each one of them is set to a 20th of a second at f4. I have the white balance all set uh, at uh, Kelvin for 4000. So I'm trying to match all the conditions, even the, the, the focusing mode, everything. I want it to be completely the same. They're all on AFS mode, which means single shot autofocus. They're all on wide. And I'm shooting just this, this panoramic of the, the, the Edinburgh Castle and some of the surrounding buildings here. Now, compositionally, normally I would shoot a little bit different. I wouldn't choose this exact composition for what I want to do. But I'm choosing this exact spot for one simple reason. It's raining and we have a tree above us which enables me to share this video with you. With that being said, I'm using the Sony FE 16-35 to Zeiss lens. It's a full frame E-mount lens. I'm going to take that lens. Uh, I'm going to put it onto each one of the cameras and I'm going to show you guys the results. I'm going to, I have it on a tripod, not because of the 20th of a second. I have it on a tripod so the compositions look exactly the same. Whenever I see camera challenges, a lot of times the shots don't match. They're not, they don't, they don't match compositionally and that throws me off. It throws the comparison off for me. So I'm going to uh, stop talking, which you guys will probably enjoy. I'm going to start shooting, which you'll probably enjoy more. And I'm going to share the shots with you guys. So let's do it. So I'm going to start off today with the A7 Mark II. This is the 24 megapixel Sony camera. I'm listing the specs right here so you guys can know what the native ISO is with the expanded ISO. And really for any camera manufacturer, when it comes to ISO, all you care about is the native. Don't really pay attention to the expanded. But uh, I'm going to show you guys what each one of these cameras, cameras do and how they perform. And you make the decision what's best for you. So I'm going to fire these off for you guys now and uh, show you guys what we find. So right now I'm at 1 20th of a second F4 ISO 640. I'm going to go down to 100 just to show you what it does. Okay, that's at 100. Pretty much black. I get a little bit of the lamp post. So I'm going to go to 400. Get a little bit of the building to the right. Going to go up to uh, 2000. I'm picking up a little bit of the light on the cobblestone brickway uh, pathway here. 4000. Now I'm picking up the grass. The light that's hitting the grass is coming up, so that's kind of cool. ISO 8000. Perfect. And I can already start to see some noise here. Going to go up to 16000. And the noise that you see in the back of the camera isn't ever as bad as it is in real life. So whatever you see in the camera, you have to really take back and, and look at. Okay. So now I'm at uh, 20,000. Um, I don't really see the noise on the ground. I really see the noise in the sky, which is really where you're going to see noise when you're shooting, uh, especially late at night. And now I'm maxing out at 25,600. This is the max out on this camera. Take a shot, show it to you. Everything's in exposure. I can see everything from the grass, the trees, the cobblestone road, the sky, the buildings. But uh, there's definitely, there's some noise, but for 25,600, it's, it's pretty awesome. Again, if you guys see any anomalies in the pictures, it's either the demons from the cemetery or it's a water spot on the lens. You make your choice, okay? So that's the A7 Mark II. 
Alrighty guys, so now I have the A7R. This is the megapixel king for Sony cameras. Uh, 36 something megapixels, almost 37. And again, same 16 to 35 Zeiss. I'm at a 20th of a second, F4. ISO is down at 80 right now, but I'll start at 100 so I can just make it apples to apples. All right, ISO 100, nothing. Again, very dark. ISO 400, still very, very, very dark. ISO 800, still very dark. ISO 1600, picking up a little bit of the buildings, a little bit of the road. But this isn't just to show you guys how ISO works, which I hope for some of you it's helping. This is actually to show you how well these cameras perform or don't perform. So I'm going to kind of get into the ranges that would actually start to matter. ISO 4000. Starting to pick some stuff up here. I'm going to double it up. ISO 8000. Can already start to see some, some pretty significant noise in this one, especially in the sky. ISO 12800. Again, the, the, there's not really, it's, from what I can see in the camera, there's not too much noise on the ground, but I really see it in the sky. ISO 16,000. Getting lots of noise in the sky now. The awesome thing is you guys can look at the shots and decide what works best for you. ISO 20,000. Everything's coming out. Everything is in exposure, but just the noise is there. And then this guy too, maxes out at 25,600. Perfect. Now let me show you guys what the A7S can do. That is the low light king. Wow, that's wild. If you like low light photography, you should buy an A7S. It's not a sales pitch. It's one of the main reasons I went Sony. All right, A7S, low light king of the world. ISO 100, understandably, you're not going to see it, not enough light. ISO 400, again, not going to see it, not enough light. ISO 800, okay, ISO 1600, starting to see it, ISO 2000, starting to pick some stuff up, I see zero noise, ISO 4000, Things are starting to come into view here. No noise. ISO 8000. Really starting to see things. No noise. ISO 16000. Again, no noise. <laughs> it's crazy. ISO 25600. So this is where the 7R and the 7 Mark, A7 Mark II tap out. And it, this will be the most dramatic shot to show you the difference between the cameras. I want to state, I'm not going to, I'm not going to treat these pictures. These are going to come raw out of the camera. I am not going to treat these shots. Okay. You might be picking up a little bit of light in the, in the shot. You'll see a little bit of light. That's from the roto light that's on top of my video camera. And I've used that in all of the shots. So it's not impacting anything else. And we've kept the, the uh, power output the same on that light the entire time. Okay. So everything is in exposure, but just to kind of show you guys, in these next shots, we're going to blow out the lamp and blow out everything else because it's already exposed. But I'm going to show you just how there isn't noise for a, a good idea, a, a good portion of the, of the ISO range on this. And I'll just let you guys be the judge for yourself. That is ISO 40,000. This is ISO 60,000. My bad, 64,000. This is ISO 102,400. That's just insane. Now that's where the native ISO goes on this camera. That, that's crazy. Let's go up to 160,000 ISO. We can start, some, start to see some noise here. Okay, now we're going to go to 204,800 204, ISO. That's just wild. You guys can be the judge for yourselves. This is at 256,000 ISO. <laughs> Just ridiculous numbers. Now, it's 
overexposing a lot of the frame because there's just so much light that it's letting in. But it, I want I want to show this to you guys so you can see the the, the lack of noise. ISO 320,000. Look at that. That's crazy. ISO 409,600. This is the max on this. That's crazy. Now there's noise. I'm not saying there isn't noise. But the fact that you have a camera that can do this is crazy. As a comparative, um, the Nikon D4S goes to 409,600. Well, their native ISO on the D4S is only 25,600. So this is four times the amount of ISO capability in this little tiny toy camera. You get my point? Haters, send your mail to joyce at jlpros.com. I mean, the shots that you can get are, are just wild. So I want to make something clear. I am a Sony artisan of imagery. I get no money when you guys buy a Sony. Zero. I don't get any money when you guys buy a Sony. If you go and pick up an A7S, I don't get any commission. My other sponsors, like Rotolite, who lit this shot, thank you very much. You buy Rotolite, I do get money, so please buy one. Actually serves me really well. The point I'm trying to make is I'm sharing this stuff with you guys just because it works. I don't get money when you guys buy a Sony. I wish I did. I'd be a millionaire. But I don't. Next time I have a contract with Sony, I'll see if I can renegotiate that. I don't think I'll win. Their lawyers are better than mine. Bottom line is, guys, this camera's awesome. So I'm going to do other comparisons. Um, you know, the thing that you give up on the A7S is you give up your megapixels. You only have 12 megapixels on this camera. Um, and so later on, while I'm in Scotland or the United Kingdom, over the next couple days, I'm actually going to do a megapixel challenge and, and show these, these cameras in comparison to each other so you guys can actually see the benefits of all. And even if you don't shoot Sony, I want you guys to understand what certain cameras do as it might compare to something that you do with Nikon or Canon. So I hope this has helped. I hope that it's beneficial for you guys. I do really, really appreciate you guys following, watching, and subscribing to my channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I, it means a lot to me. And if you want to learn more, please come to one of my workshops. Uh, we, we have workshops all over the world. I'm doing them this time with Rotolite at Pinewood Studios, one of the most famous movie studios in the world down in London. Uh, I did a workshop here in Edinburgh, which is why I'm here. I'm doing one in London on my own in two days, which is going to be amazing. And I do them all over the place. And we have one coming up soon in Australia. We're working out the dates, but we're getting out there because you guys keep asking and asking for Australia. So until next time, never give up on your dreams, guys. Um, don't let people tell you what you should buy. Don't just take my word for it. Do your homework. Let my word be a, a portion of what you take in regards to what you should, what you should buy. But uh, do your homework and, and just don't believe what's out there. Believe what you can put in your hands and learn for yourself. And, you know, really, you can go to a camera store and borrow a camera. You can rent a camera. Get out there and open your minds as to what's possible. It's not all about Nikon or Canon, and it's not always all about Sony. It's about finding what works best for you. And for me, Sony was the bomb. The technology is amazing. So like I said, never give up on your dreams. And remember, whether you're in a cemetery surrounded by beautiful models, assistants, strong cameramen, and crazy guys in fedoras, and demons are chasing you, always remember you only have one chance to get it right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I did that wrong. I'm supposed to do this. I did this. Bye.